end of the day, almost time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Wednesday, October 4th. Hope all is well in zero DTE land. I did an AM ratio iron condor, hit both profit targets, 50 and 80%. Just hit uh, 40% on my quiet lunch, as it looks like a lot of you all did as well. And our buddy Uncle Rick is on the struggle bus today. He's uh, deep in the valley. So hopefully he can see his way out after we book some power hour profits. Or if he wanted to do it in the next, you know, five minutes, that's fine too. Chivas is actually asking if Power Hour Live is live. We're a little uh, we're a little light on attendance. Everybody hear me okay? All right. Cool, cool. All right, so for power hour, I need to buy some longs. Longs are locked. Took off a time fly today for a little over 5%. What else did we do? We could oil down 5%. Oil was on a rampage. Going back to end of June, getting a little sell off here the last few days. Big one today. Added a new hedgehog and ES. What else did I do? Rolled down some calls in IWM. Yeah, that's about it. Looks like it'll be the 42, 45, 42, 40. So five wide, first tranche one. like a couple people can't find the link today for some reason 
always in the live stream channel, my friends. And I posted it earlier. All right, 4225, excuse me, 4245, 4240. Five wide. I'm trying to get filled at 830. Filled at 830 for tranche one, 4245 calls, 4240 puts. Using the same strike, the forty two forties as part of my quiet lunch as well. So my wrist graph is going to look a little off. So this is my tranche one and quiet lunch combined. Kelvin Tevis, did you find me? Come in, Kelvin and Tevis. All right, good. Always in the live stream. Link, links are always in there. I posted earlier as well. All right. S&P up 13 and a half, NASDAQ up 144. NASDAQ up almost 1%. <clears throat> by far the strongest of the four. Russell down a little under a half percent and Dow pretty much unchanged on the day. Gold and silver lower. Notes and bonds higher. 10-year yield finally getting a little bit of a pullback after tipping out at 4877 Oil down 5%, natty gas up a little bit, grains lower, euro and the pound slightly higher. And Bitcoin up about 1%. VIX down 4.5%, back down under 19 After topping out this morning with a high of I also added a uh, put calendar in SPX. Skewed it a little bit to give it more room to the downside. So if we push up to the upside break even, I'll add, a, add another one to double it up. Also closed a 6.7 today for a nice profit. I closed half for about 23%, closed the remaining half for about 38 or 39%. But on a 1.2 B&B earlier today, it's already up a few hundred. Take that off in the AM. The trunch one I got into at 8.30. 
So looking for five bucks to reduce my stop on tranche one. Tranche one currently trading at eight twenty. My order to close out at eighty percent on the rest of my quiet lunch is at three ninety. Still trading at nine sixty, so need another six bucks to come out of that one. So for Rick to get out of his valley, I need 4260, which is right at the expected move for the upside, which started today at about 27. 4260 would not be a good number for tranche one. Dick K, I ran across your YouTube channel this morning. You've been holding out on us. Didn't tell us you had a YouTube channel. No, no. Here, let me post it for you. The Fibonacci roulette system. You look good there. You look like you gained a little bit of weight, though. Who knew? Fibonacci works. It works with everything. <laughs> oh, actually Lando Lando came across that text me he's like I found Dick K I found Dick K's YouTube channel Landon who Landon's part of the uh, part of the team here All right, tranche one's hanging in there. Currently trading at 780.
We have not uh, got close to the upper expected move at about 1130 central, but pretty calm day. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Mauro. I thought today might uh, get some bleed over from yesterday's vol spike, but not so much on the zero DTE front. Still got about 10 minutes until tranche two. I think it's barely going to be, might, might have a five wide on tranche two as well by the time we get there. What are we taking a poll about, Fibonacci? <laughs> Dick likey barbecue. Your uh, Bollinger Band, Vic's Bollinger Band work today so far. Market's up. No, 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 no. We want you to share. It's just not something I use, so I like to, you know, I, I got to have something to talk about. Oh, I didn't read the last part. If the group does not want me to share, I will not going forward. If they do, you must always. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's pushing it. You're you're pushing it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like the, the mob has spoken. King of Fib, it is. What about Bollinger Bands? Putting Bollinger Bands in the back seat? Prince of Bollingers? King of Fibs, Prince of Bollingers? <laughs> Who's this guy, Morrow? Oh, that's Mr. Bullinger. Okay. I need to trademark my V wap my my V slap and my V pop. I need to get that as a standard indicator on toss. Yeah, I mean, my stuff works definitely as good as JC's stuff. I 
SPX still creeping up. Five minutes till tranche two. Looks like we could be 10 wide for tranche two. Time to buy some more longs. Getting another little push here. Tranche one stops at 1230. Still trading. Now it's trading around 10, a little over 10 now. Eleven. Getting close. 1150, 1160, 12. Getting close to stop here. Stopped on tranche one. 20 cent slippage. Still a couple minutes until tranche two. Right now, tranche two would be the 60s and 50s. Current move is just under the half percent level. I only do the short squeeze on tranche one anyway, but All right, one minute till I enter tranche three. Looks like it could be the 5550s. All right, it's a real tweener. It's a tweener on the calls. I'm going to go with looks like fifty fives are a little closer. Fifty five fifties. Trash to ten wide. No. Well, now it's the 60s. All right, 60, 50s. 
tranche two, 10 wide, 490. Build at 490, 4260 calls, 4250 puts. Quiet lunch is trading down to 6.30. My 80% limit is at 3.90. Still need a few more bucks out of that. Rick is trying to make his way out of the valley. All right, so tranche two, I got in at four ninety. So 295 is what I'm looking for to reduce my stop on tranche two. That's right, no longs for tranche three. I already got those in place. So I do need to buy a few. This thing's still running. New high of day, my friends. For you uh, squeezers on uh, short squeezers on tranche three, we're up, we're above a half percent move higher from the open. My stop on tranche two is at seven ninety. Spreads trading at six eighty. Right up to the expected move on the upside today. Look at that decay to the penny. To the expected move to the penny.
My quiet lunch needs a little pullback now as well. Oh my gosh, did I forget? I forgot to move my stop on my quiet lunch. Uh, let's see, it should have went from 26 to 10. So I got out at... Eleven eighty. So it should be a twenty one eighty. All right, tranche three. So got twenty six. So I just need to buy some puts. A couple minutes till tranche three. Right now, looking like the 65 50s, maybe 15 wide. Give it another minute. Is that just a Wednesday thing for you, Dick? Or what's the no tranche three about? Gotcha. All right, pushing back up here. All right, so I'm looking at the sixty five fifty fives. Tranche three, ten wide. 
five bucks, four ninety five. Filled at four ninety five, sixty five fifty fives. Pushing back up. Tranche two, my stops at seven ninety. It's trading at six bucks. Oh boy, it's getting aggressive. Nice, Kelvin. My Rick is out of the valley. Still at about break even. Today's move from the open up 0.64%. <clears throat> Anybody on a two to one ratio for tranche three? Sweet spot for me, and this is for my quiet lunch and both tranches of power hour between 55 and 60 is ideal. Tomorrow is Thursday the 5th, so we've got uh, unemployment claims an hour before the market opens, and then FOMC member Barr speaks at 11.15 a.m. Central. Oh, we got four of them? Okay. Forex Factory is just showing the one. He's due to deliver a speech titled Cyber Risk in the Banking Sector at a Foreign Banking Organization Cyber Conference hosted by the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland. <clears throat> that should be interesting. So Barr speaks at 6.15 your time. So that would be. So the other ones are. In the morning. Gotcha. All right, tranche three back down to 485. I'm looking for 295 to, uh, to reduce my stop. 4255 would be dead centered on that one. 
quiet lunch trading at 740. I need 390. Forty two fifty would be right in the middle of that one. Uh, I'm working through all that stuff now, Morrow, but um, yeah, I had planned on continuing to do that. But uh Make a note to uh, double check on that. Look at the VIX down to 18 and a half, down almost six and a half percent today. Our VXX verticals coming in on that. Russell NASDAQ up a percent and a half and Russell basically unchanged. SPX trying to pop back up. Tranche two, my stops at 790, currently trading at 620. Tranche three, my stops at 795, currently trading at 450. That's right. Settle back down. Get back inside your expected move. Forty three hundred. So ES is at uh, forty two ninety seven right now. Did uh did everyone get their um what do you call it national wireless emergency alert system notification today?
All right, good. You guys are all ready. All ready in case COVID breaks back out. Okay, pushing, pushing your highs of day still. Tranche two stop at seven ninety. It's currently trading about six bucks. If my Rick hits, I will get stopped out of tranche two. My 30% uh, on Rick's at 1775, and mine's currently trading at 1640. So it's going to need a bigger push for Rick. Tranche two is going to get stopped here. Yep. Stopped on tranche two. And stopped on my quiet lunch. That quiet lunch turned into a rowdy afternoon. Stop on trunch three is at 795. Spread's currently trading at 550. What a little rally. And Rick just hit. Still got a little room on tranche three, but I need a pullback here. Get out of four of my four or five of my ricks. I'm gonna hold, see if I can hit max profit on that last one if we hold up. So if we can pin at 42.65, I'll make max profit on Rick and max profit on tranche three. <laughs> That's the ideal number for me now. 42.65, exactly.
So the trailing on stop on three got stopped. <clears throat> My tranche three never really got very close. Three dollar stop. So it just must have been slightly different strikes then for some. Actually, I'm going to go with the. Uh, I'm going to go with the assumption of a little pullback here. So I'm going to close my Rick, my last little Rick runner. No bid on the 195s. What are you referring to, Dick K? Is that ES? Oh. Was that for my Rick? Okay, gotcha. I got filled the five cents. All right, so I need below below uh, sixty five here. Seventeen minutes till the bell. Didn't get to reduce stops on either tranche one or tranche two. Uh, Murph dog. So what's your question? It, I mean, it obviously, I think, you know, it settles to cash, but wherever it settles, you know, kind of where that teal line is, if you just hover over that, it'll show you what your, what your profit would be on it. Yeah. So the, you'll see the settlement price within a couple minutes after the close. And we're pushing back up. Trunch three is trading at three six three forty five. My stops at seven ninety five. Come down a bit. I'll have a chance to take this one to the bell. Had a lot of chances lately to go to the bell, which is fun. One was not favorable. Several others pinned.
4250. I was going to say, you're asking for a lot there. <laughs> yeah, 4260 would be ideal. Things acting like it's got somewhere to go. Got nowhere to go. Trading at 460. There we go. Better. <clears throat> A little over 10 minutes to go. Whoa, getting a little crazy. Don't go crazy. <laughs> SPX does not respond well to name calling, Ken.
All right, right. It's forty two sixty. Nine minutes to go. There's a little, little jumpy going into the close. Tranche three is trading down to two fifty. Oh, that's interesting. So I talked about it a couple times on this financial juice where it lays out the, uh, gives some early indication on the market on close imbalance. Anything, anything under a couple billion is pretty much meaningless. You know, so the early 30 minutes till the bell said 28 million. That's pretty much nothing. The second one at uh, 20 till said 28 million. Next one said 28 million. And then the, the one at 10 minutes to, bell, to the bell is the real one where that's where the, the firms are actually committed to buying or selling and it jumped up to 2.3 billion sell side and the market popped up or, or the market flushed and now it bounced back up so again i still don't know that there's really anything to that but that jump from uh that's that's one thing i have noticed is that when you get a some early indications and then the one at 10 minutes till is a flips or it is a lot bigger than the early indication ones. So when you tend to see a little, a little bit of movement, which we did here. So, Mauro, those are those are those are equities. So that's all the big all the big boys like BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard. Those are the three biggest. They, you know, they they control about seven. I've heard numbers. They control about seventy percent of the equities in the S and P five hundred. So, you know, as people are contributing to their four hundred one k plans, retirement plans, you know, making contributions or whatever, they you know they have to. They make buys and sells depending on inflow and outflow every day. And so they're, re they're required to report their net buys or their net sells. And that's what that, that's what that number is referring to. So that it's done right on the mar market on close, right at the close. So they have to 10 minutes till the bell, they have to give their final number. All right, I'm kind of on the edge here. It doesn't look like I'm going to take this one to the bell unless we pull back here in the next couple minutes. Thing looks like it wants to rip. Give it a little chance to come back under 65. Doesn't look like it wants to. Hanging in around 66. All right, I'm out. It's 
thought I was out. I've got a bid. Why am I not getting filled? Rejected. All right, I'll give it another chance then. Oh, now I got now I don't have a bid. <clears throat> Here we go. Come on down. Three minutes. Three minutes, three points lower. I feel like this thing's going to pop higher, though. Heart rate, 77. Come on. Come on down. Don't do anything crazy. One minute, one minute, one point lower. That's all we need. There you go. See, Ken, you got to talk to it nicely. Just a little bit lower, just a little bit lower. Thirty seconds. Here we go. Let's pin. Fifty cents lower. Four, three, two, one. Boom. <laughs> Look at that little move for me. That a boy. That helped a little bit. All right, so still lost about 5k, but that helped. 6700 on tranche 1, 5300 on tranche 2 and then plus 6900 on tranche 3. All right. Tomorrow is Thursday. the fifth so tomorrow we'll be streaming live in the morning at the open as well as for power hour all right all take care have a good night cheers have a good one